Hey GMP, what's up? Today we are going to be looking at five, six inequalities in one triangle. Remember, inequalities are your goal greater than, your goal less than. First thing I want to look at is called the comparison property of inequality. And you might be saying, what's that mean? It says, if A equals B plus C and C is greater than zero, then A is bigger than B. You might say, Mr. Twiller, it doesn't make sense. Think about this. 7 equals 4 plus 3, right? What it's saying is, 7 is your A. Here's your B and your C. A has to be greater than or B. So 7 has to be greater than 4. Which I hope is still right. I haven't checked my tables in a while. Let's take a look at our theorem. Uh, corollary. Corollary, I think we're going the opposite way. This work. Corollary to the triangle exterior angle theorem. If angle 1 is an exterior angle, then 1 is greater than angle 2 and greater than angle 3. Because angle 1... <coughs> oh, sorry about that equals angle 2 plus angle 3, right? So by our theorem, angle 1 has to be greater than angle 2, and angle 1 has to be greater than angle 3. <coughs> Two of them there, guys. Keep you on your toes while I have my runny nose. Okay. We got it. Exterior angle is greater than 3, your remote angle, and greater than 2, because it equals those added together. Let's take a look at this example. Why is angle 5 bigger than angle C? Here's angle 5. Here's angle C. Well, the measure of angle 5 is bigger than measure of angle C because, well, this is just one big triangle, right? That's not a very good color. It's just one big triangle, right? Because angle 5 is an exterior angle and the exterior angle is greater than each remote interior angle. And that's from our corollary to that uh, theorem before. Okay? Because 5 is also going to be greater than 3, right? Yeah. Okay, theorem 510. If two sides of a triangle are not congruent, then the larger angle lies opposite the longer side. So if xz is bigger than xy, like if this is 6 and this is 5, then y is going to be bigger than angle Z. I'm going to pause this. Hey guys, I'm back. I'm going to use the video. i got to pause this though because I realize. So I guess I can't get my video to show while I'm filming it, guys. So I don't know what you can see. Here's what I wanted to show you. Look at this right here. Take a door hinge, right? Opens like this. The bigger the angle, what happens to this opposite side? The bigger the angle, the bigger the side, right? Right now, that would be my smallest side, smallest angle. Biggest side, biggest angle, okay? So your small side's across from your smallest angle. Your biggest side is across from your biggest angle, okay? And your mediumest side is across from your mediumest angle. Okay. I think I'm just going to leave the video on here, guys, because I don't know how to do it where it doesn't. So just We'll live with it. So suppose you're an architect, right? Uh, 
you want to make a drinking fountain at the corner with the second largest angle. What two streets form the corner with the second largest angle? It's also the second smallest, right? Only three angles. So, this is my biggest side, right? So, the angle across from Hollingsworth Old Road, that means this is the biggest angle. This is my second biggest side, right? So that means this, the one across from it, is going to be my second biggest angle. So the answer is, what two streets form that? Well, it'd be Hollingsworth. and MLK, probably saying for Martin Luther King. I'm sorry guys, this light, there's a light right here, right here that gets in my eyes. Maybe I'll have to ask someone to help me fix that and turn that off. Okay, different theorem. If two angles of a triangle are not congruent, then the longer side is opposite. Same thing guys. Smaller the angle, the smaller the opposite side. The bigger the angle, the bigger the opposite side. It's just the opposite. Before we hit the side length, now they give us the angle, and we guess which side is the longest. I'll go back. You guys probably need a second to write some stuff down because I probably put a box somewhere. Here we go. In the figure at the right, it's probably, I actually watched it, it's probably right above me, it's probably right here. Figure at the right, measure of angle S, it's 24 degrees, O is 130, What? and then they're asking for us to compare the sides. So if that's 130 and that's 24, this angle is going to be 180 minus 24 minus 130, right? Because they all add up to 180, which is, that's 154, do some quick math, it's 26 degrees, right? Okay, where's my smallest angle? It's right here, right? So that tells me this is the smallest side. Small side is across from the smallest angle. So the smallest short side is going to be OX because it's across from the smallest angle. That's all I got for you guys. Enjoy.